Welcome back to part three of setting up Twitter for business. In this video, we will create an ad campaign and check our analytics. Let's get to it. Log into your Twitter account and click on your profile picture on the top right corner. Here, you will find Twitter ads and analytics. Let's begin with ads. First, you will be asked to fill out some additional info to determine your billing currency. Twitter ads starts with a promotion objective for your ad campaign, like increasing website traffic, followers, conversions, etc. For this video, we will create a brand awareness campaign, so click on the Create Campaign button. Here, you will name your campaign, then decide whether to start it immediately and continuously, or set a start and end date. Under that, you have the additional option to add a third-party tracking manager. Next, select the audience you want to target in the campaign. This may take some time to fill out, but it's very important if you want the right people to see the ad. You can choose from one location if your ad only requires that you reach out to locals, or from multiple locations for a wider audience. You can also choose to target a specific gender, language, device, platform, or carrier. Keywords are fantastic at finding the right audience, because Twitter ads will target searches or users who use them in their tweets. You can even target specific followers, interests, and events. Next, let's set our budget. A daily maximum budget per day is required, but you also have the option to set a total budget. Next, it's time to choose the type of optimization you want for your campaign, either maximum reach or reach with engagement. Under advanced options, you can choose between an automatic bid or a target cost for your pricing. Next, it's time to choose your creatives or tweets that you'll be promoting. You can either choose from a popular tweet you've already published or create a brand new one. On the right side here, you will see an automatic preview of how your ad will look on different mobile devices. Once you have selected your creative, you can either choose to launch it, save it, or exit if you wish to not create an ad after all. We'll click on Save for now. If you filter to Drafts, you will find the first ad group of your campaign. By clicking on the gear icon, you can choose to make quick edits to the name, audience, and budget or you can open it in the original ads dashboard to see its progress. Now let's head back to our timeline to take a look at analytics. Here you will see your account home with a 28-day summary of tweet activity, impressions, page visits, and more. For more analytics options, head to the bar at the top of the page. You will want to keep an eye on tweet activity for your business profile. Here you will find your tweet's daily impressions as well as your top tweets, which you can directly create a promotion for. You can also select a specific date range of tweet activity and export that data for monthly reports on your profile's performance. Other analytics options include Audience Insights, which gives you an overview of all Twitter users, from demographics to top wireless carrier. You can then compare these insights with your own followers to see where you stand. Knowing this information will help you create better content that will reach influential Twitter users, earning you a better Twitter score. Twitter Analytics also keeps track of video activity as well as promoted videos. Events on Analytics shows you popular upcoming events and holidays, each with their own analytics and demographics that you can create a new campaign out of and specifically target audiences interested in a particular event. Thanks for watching and check out part 4 of this series where we will go over lists, moments, and widgets. See you there!